Okay, hello dear friends, good morning, such a beautiful day. And uh, the other day I did this oil pastel painting landscape of mountains. So I would like to let you know how I did it and with some voice over. So to do oil pastel, to begin with, get yourself ready with all the material and make some comparison of uh, the different color nuance. One is uh, darker, one is a little bit lighter, and uh, have the different gradient of color. You can even um, arrange them in, in a, a rainbow color or in a color scheme. It is your choice. And also make sure that uh, your color is clean. You may want to blend it, but you want to blend it when it is uh, when you intentionally do it, it's always clean. If there is some dark color or dirty color, clean it out with a tissue paper. So at the beginning, I have no idea what it will come out. Usually painting, it always sucks before it doesn't. And uh, I have this saying uh, always, it was always ugly before it becomes uh, more viewable. Sorry, Gugu is uh, playing around with my, with my headset. And uh, so you put color as a base. It does, not, it does not have to be perfect. Just to bring the color in. And you do not have a very clear idea, or I did not have a very clear idea what color will come out. But uh, I first put a layer of color. I make sure there are some places need more color. There are some places I will leave it empty so that I can later on bring in another color. For example, right now what I'm doing, I put the color in. And uh, it, was, it was a labor job. You really need to work very hard to make uh, the wrinkled paper or the textured paper. You blend the color always into it. There is no white on, on, on the paper. And I have some dark red, some purple, some pink, some orange. And... Um, these are some soft oil pastel. And to blend everything together, I used a very, very extremely cheap white oil pastel. So this is white. And it's quite, uh, quite strong. Usually I do not use this color, but this time I use because uh, it's really um, strong enough so that I can blend. If I use very soft one, it will be broken. And uh, I didn't imagine that I would put this uh, black color on the edge of the mountain. And as I was doing it, I found it was not that bad. So you just, uh, you cannot decide what you are going to do at the very first shot. And uh, painting is about um, an a, an adventure or an experiment. You never know what will come out. Uh, one thing I know is that this is the mountain. Maybe I should uh, make the mountain reflect, reflecting a little bit of the sunset. So I use the same color, red, blue, and uh, white for the mountain. And um, the mountain's texture is a little bit different also. Some, the stroke, some are more vertical stroke, some are more horizontal stroke, so that you, you can make a differentiation. You can discriminate a little bit of the mountain texture and uh, blend in all the color. So up to now, I have put color in, and then I start to feel, gosh, all these four or five layers of mountain are too uh, unitone, and there is no difference. So I start to add some, uh, some black lines. It looks like the, the, the mountain, um, mountain structure, mountain opening or something. Uh, please excuse me for this oil mob of my hair. <laughs> 
Okay, and then the second layer of mountain, I was thinking the first layer is more vertical and the second layer, maybe I can make it more horizontal. And then the third layer of mountain, as I was doing, I add some black and make it more eccentric and coming out and some darker color as the background. And uh, just to keep on doing, and then the, um, some white, some blending. A lot of time you do not know uh, what is the best um, outcome. Uh, try it. You never make mistake because when you do something, you feel ugly. Maybe you can turn it around into something uh, more useful and more unique. If everything is perfect, then it does not have character. And this way you can see there are different layers of color. The mountain that is uh, closer to me are uh, darker, and the mountain who is uh, further away from me is lighter. And, uh, and at the very end, I add up a little bit of the mountain texture and fix it a little bit. And this uh, is it. I hope you enjoy this blah, 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 and uh, happy painting. I love you. I really do. Do, 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 do. Bye-bye, friend.